been a different day in that um, I had my idea of what I was going to speak on and then God gave me some new scriptures to add to it and I added the scriptures like I was supposed to and I printed out the I printed it out this morning just before I left the house and it's still sitting on the printer. <laughs> so we're gonna do what God said to do this this day. Amen. 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 It's not that I'm unprepared, it's just that he changed it and I left it, so we're going to do what he's, what, it's going to be entirely directed by the Lord. Amen? Amen? So whatever it is you're needing, expect that God is going to give it for you today. Amen? Amen. Amen. What I had talked about last week, I said that God had given me the uh, confluence or um, the uh, convergence. That was the topic that he was giving me, and he ne never really took that away but he's kind of giving me a new direction with it. So, and, and in Confluence, I was thinking about where the Sacramento and the American rivers come together. And those two, two mighty, powerful rivers converge into one. And as they're converging, you know that there is some, you know, there's got to be some turmoil because you got an east flowing river flowing, meet, meeting up with a north and south flowing, east west going into a north and south flowing river. So you know that there is going to be something going underneath the surface. There's a whole lot going on. Amen? Amen. And what I had thought about was the reason that it came to me is because in our lives, we have different directions and different things that we operate in. You know, you got the. You have the role of an employee, a parent, spouse, or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. You have all of these different roles, and each of them are okay when they're in their proper place. But something along some days, we have a whole lot of those days, when all of those things converge. And that's when we start saying, Take me away. I can't deal with all of this. Why is all of this going on? Because you have your kids on one hand, they're not getting dressed, and know I gotta get to work on time, and you know, and then I got to get to work, and then somebody coming up here with something that they you know that was supposed you were supposed to have given me that three weeks ago. What you mean you need it now? You know, all of those things start converging, and you know, they're asking you for that at the last minute when you're getting ready to go home, you go pick somebody up from childcare and and, and go try to get dinner done, and yeah, amen? amen. So though it looks okay on the surface, down underneath, there's a whole lot going on, amen? amen. But what I found out, what I have discovered is that once I start, and the reason it came up last week was, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was trying to cook, I, you know, get breakfast done, trying to make sure I got myself here on somewhat on time. I was printing something for another church. I needed to deliver that. Somebody, I don't, did I have to pick somebody up last week? And you know, all of that converged as I was on my way to church. But what I have realized and what I understand now is that when the Spirit of God is in it, mm -hmm. you let Him direct it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, it it's gonna get done, and it's not my it's, it's ministry. You're going to go ahead and do what he wants you to do. Amen. And once you get there, then you become start forming that one, which is what happens with the American and the Sacramento River. They form into one as they continue to flow to the greater purpose, which is the Pacific Ocean. Okay? Y'all with me? Yeah. I ain't lost you yet, huh? Okay. So when we say, the, uh, I think it's one, Psalms 119 and something. It is order my steps. Order my steps. And when you start having that prayer and saying, Lord, order my steps, because I have so many different things that I need to do. There are so many areas of my life I need to concentrate on at one time. And then you want me to do ministry too. Well, Lord, order my steps. Because somehow, somehow, we all have to be flowing as one. Amen. Amen. Is that a piece of paper over there that says something about Ephesians or Romans or something on it? Because we, no, this was, no, this was a, a eight and a half by eleven white piece of paper. 
that has scripture. But that's the same said. My 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 purpose is greater than my challenge. So because I know that I'm about to come up against something, now if I go ahead and spend some time in God's word and I spend some time in prayer, and which is spending some time listening and talking to Him, when that person that in my job who know who I know they don't like me comes up smiling in my face. Asking me to do something outrageously out of my job description, I can look at them and say, okay, no problem. And be okay, really, because it won't be a problem, because I was already ready for it. Do you understand? So, when the con when, so all of it converging is really not a problem because when you're unified with the Spirit of God, you already got, you have that power and that source that will direct your path and keep you on the right direction. Do you, does it make sense to anybody? So, but these are the things that, um, <laughs> see this was actually what I had printed out the first time and then the next time I had like four or five other scriptures to put on here so it was like three pages worth. <laughs> But you want to find out about trouble? Go against the will of God. Step outside of His will, especially once He puts you on the path. Once He has put you on the direction that you should go, He has ordered your steps. You have started walking along that path, and you decide, "I am going to step off, and I'm going to do my own thing." Huh. I don't need all of this. Huh, come on now. Find you will find out what it is to be without peace. Huh. Amen. Because <laughs> you'll be laying there in the middle of the night and the Lord will be, hey. You wanted to sleep? Let me talk. I want to talk. Huh, come on now. Let's talk. I don't want to talk to you, Lord. I want to go to sleep. No, I huh, want to come talk. On. I need to talk to you. Because see, you doing you doing this and you doing that, and Lord, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to hear that right now. That's okay. But I'm gonna talk to you right now. And all while you're trying to sleep, that keeps right on waking Come you on. right back up and waking you back <laughs> up, right. waking you back up mm -hmm. till you go ahead and all right, Lord, what you want to talk about? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna listen. And Lord, yes, okay. <laughs> I'm reminded just now of uh, when Samuel was a bait, was a young man, and he was laying in bed, and the Lord called him, said his name. And, uh, I don't know how many of you remember that story. Mm -hmm. Samuel lay there asleep, and he heard Samuel. He opened up his eyes, looked around, got up out of bed, walked over into the to. Um, he was staying with the priest named Eli. Went over to Eli's room, said, "You call me." Eli said, why are you going to bed? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Samuel goes back, lays back down, starts falling asleep. Samuel. Okay. You called me. Boy, I did not call you. Go to bed. <laughs> it had been so long since Eli had heard the voice of the Lord that he didn't realize that's what was going on until the third time that the child came and said, you called me. No, I didn't call you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, next time you hear your name, say, Lord, here I am. <laughs> Some of us, the Lord has been calling your name, and you've been saying, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> because we've and here's the other part of that. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to say a whole lot real quick, okay? Because one of the things that we, we have a hard time understanding, we've been told so long, it don't take all that. <laughs> it don't take all that to serve the Lord. It don't take all that. Well, to be saved, if that's all, you know, if you just want to be, uh, get out of hell free card. Well, yeah, no, it probably don't take all of that. But if you want to experience the blessings of the Lord, if you want to experience, the Lord, you have authority in your house. Say that, Amen. Amen. If you are walking with Christ, you have some authority.
authority in your house. Amen? Amen. You let every devil walk up in your house and run over you like, he, like it's his house. Huh, come on now, say that. <laughs> he ain't paid a rent. spirit, especially in my walk with God. Because this is the second Peter starting um, mm, mm, chapter chapter one, second Peter chapter one uh, starting fifth verse. And in all diligence add to your faith. By faith, faith is what brings you to Christ. I believe that he is. He is, the, uh, he is my Lord, my Savior. He died. He rose again to give me, a, uh, give me the um, authority, the power to speak to God directly, give me everlasting life. He is my Lord and my Savior. Amen? Amen. Add to that. Add to my faith. I'm going to add virtue. Now, excellence a resolution, energy. And in exercising my virtue, I'm going to develop knowledge or intelligence. So because I have faith, I'm going to start walking as in virtue, meaning I'm going to start walking in integrity. I'm going to start walking in excellence because of who Christ is in my life. Amen? Amen. I'm going to add to that knowledge. So I'm going to start adding knowledge to understand more about Christ. And because and so now you see that little creep that little trickle that came off by Shasta has now started to grow. It's starting to increase in its size because it's coming down to a confluence 
or a convergence with several other streams along the way. Now, to your knowledge, we're going to add self-control or temperance. So because I know better now, I do better. Because I know better, I don't do everything that comes to my mind. Just because I can do a thing doesn't mean I'm going to do a thing. Amen. 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 <laughs> right along with me. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now to my self-control. I'm going to develop steadfastness. Okay, temperance to patience, okay? Which is my endurance, my ability to stand, to stay. I can't run around with everything. I'm not going to run away with everything. I'm not going to get all excited about everything. Amen. Come on Amen. now. Amen. Come on now. And to my patience and my self control, I'm going to add godliness. Huh. Uh oh. Come on now. I'm going to start walking a little bit better. And as I said, you know, it, as you see, each one of these things is adding to. This is in addition to what you started out with. Again, your purpose is greater than the challenge. Amen? Amen. God doing pretty good on this back this morning, huh? <laughs> Amen? So, and then to your godliness. You're going to develop brotherly affection or kind, brotherly kindness. And to your kindness, you're going to add Christian love. As you develop, as you, as you begin to have that direct connect with the Lord, once you start allowing him to lead and direct you, these things come. The closer you draw to him, these things come. Yeah. They're like the fruit of the Spirit. As you add as you, the closer you draw, the more you see. Because some of these are fruit of the Spirit. Some of these, these many, if, many if not all of them, are fruit of the Spirit. When you get direct connect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> from your mind and your will to the Lord, your spirit and your, your spirit connects directly with the Lord and you get your mind, your body, and your will and your emotions to line up with the will of God for your life, you will see God move. Amen. Amen. I dare you to try it and watch you move. Mm -hmm. Amen. I've been going through this. I've been going through that. I've been having this problem. I've been having that problem. And, and I don't have any time for God. Mm 